Thomas Digital Playrail. If you're anything like me, you came across the photograph of the box on the Thomas Wiki years ago, but had no real idea what it was. Well, now after many years of relative obscurity, you can play it! I recently imported the combination pack that includes the base game from Japan, and I've dumped the ISOs and prepared a hard disk image that you can mount and use right away. Running the game requires a Japanese copy of Windows 3.1 or 95, either physical or virtual. I won't explain how to install the game from the CD-ROM images, because I imagine if you already have a Windows 3.1 or 95 installation running in Japanese, you know how to do that. The link to the archive.org listing with the CD ISOs is in the description. Now, for everybody else, I prepared an easier solution. What you're going to do is go ahead and download DOSBox X, either by finding it online or clicking on the link in the description, and then you're going to go ahead and download the hard disk image that I've already pre-prepared on Google Drive, also in the video description. Go ahead and set up and install DOSBox X. Put the hard disk image in a folder you can remember easily and unzip it. And then go ahead and open up DOSBox X and type in at the command line IMG mount, IMG mount, space C space, and then the path to where you extracted the hard disk image. In my case, it's D colon slash DOS slash win95.img. Go ahead and hit return, and it should mount correctly. Then go ahead and type boot C colon, and it should boot you into Windows 95. Once inside, there's an icon on the desktop, which you can click on, or click on the PlayRail folder, which is the full game installation. These icons along the toolbar represent your track and scenery and trains. The base game has a limited selection of track, with a handful of accessories. There are also some Thomas-specific accessories from the Thomas add-on pack. To make a track, click on a track piece in the menu and drag it over to where you'd like it to be. To rotate, you can right-click while holding the track piece. The next menu over is the train menu. You can drag train components from the bar at the bottom up into individual slots. The base game only comes with three, but there are a number added on from the Thomas pack. Place trains on the layout by dragging their number over onto where you want them to be. You can change which direction they are by rotating the arrow around and then placing it on the track. You can also rename trains. The next view over is where you can actually watch your trains run around. By clicking on this icon, it'll load the map in more detailed view. Your engines will begin automatically and stop at certain accessories and stations. If you right click, you can reverse their direction, and you can click on signals and turnouts in order to change their position. Some things like the station also have a built-in stopper piece that you can activate. But you can save and load maps. Some of the demo maps don't work quite right for some reason. And I actually included one of the early test maps that I made in the hard drive file. If you're watching this video in the future, you might find that when you open up this hard drive image, there's a lot more track and train pieces. I've actually since bought a handful of expansion packs, but they haven't arrived yet. So if you're watching this video far enough in the future, you'll actually have more things like the half straight. Anyways, that's all for now. If you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I'm going to keep an eye out for more expansion packs. There's actually a second Thomas pack, which includes some road vehicles. I'll try to tweet out some kind of update when these arrive and are installed in the new hard drive image. I will upload new versions of the hard drive image periodically as these expansions arrive, so the same link should still work. Anyways, have fun!